Ever wondered why your snake plant leaves are drooping like a sad puppy's ears? Ah, the snake plant, or as some like to call it, the mother-in-law's tongue, a popular house plant known for its structural shape and ease of growth, but even the mightiest of plants can face the occasional hiccup. Today, we're diving deep into the curious case of the drooping snake plant. There are two major culprits behind those droopy leaves, overwatering and underwatering. Yes, just like Goldilocks, your snake plant craves balance, too much water and you risk root rot, too little and the leaves begin to thin out. Let's take a trip down memory lane with a plant owner named Sam. Sam was an enthusiastic plant parent but he loved his snake plant a bit too much. His overzealous watering led to his plant's leaves drooping, looking as tired as a Monday morning. But Sam, being the plant lover he was, didn't give up. He quickly realized his mistake and adjusted his watering schedule, giving his plant just the right amount of water. And what do you know? His snake plant perked right back up standing tall and proud once again. But it's not just about the quantity of water, it's also about the quality of soil. A well-draining soil can be your snake plant's best friend, helping to prevent overwatering and root rot. Sometimes though, drooping leaves can be a sign of heat stress or insufficient light. Snake plants are a bit like us humans, they need their dose of bright indirect light and some direct sunlight for a few hours a day. So, if your snake plant is pulling a long face, maybe it's time to give it a spot with more indirect bright light. So, if your snake plant is drooping, maybe it's time to reassess your watering habits, isn't it? And remember, balance is key, not too much, not too little, just right. Tune in for our next scene where we'll unravel the mystery of the mushy leaves. Until then, keep those green thumbs up. Ever touched your snake plant and it felt mushy? Yuck, right? This mushiness is usually a sign of overwatering or insufficient drainage. Yes, even your snake plant needs its personal space from water. Now let me tell you about Lisa, an enthusiastic plant owner. Lisa loved her snake plant, but she was always worried about it getting thirsty, so she watered it a little too much. And you guessed it, her plant's leaves turned mushy. But Lisa is a smart cookie. She quickly realized the issue was too much water and moved her plant to a drier area. And voila! The mushiness started to disappear. Moral of the story? Overwatering is a big no-no. High humidity can also cause mushy leaves, so if you live in a humid area, consider finding a drier spot for your plant. Remember, no plant likes to be soggy, including your snake plant. Did you know that your snake plant can fall prey to tiny villains called pests? Yes, even the sturdy snake plants aren't immune to these microscopic marauders like thrips or mites. These pests can make your plant's leaves look deformed or misshapen. But don't worry, we're here to arm you with knowledge to fight off these invaders. Let's take a journey into the life of a plant owner named Alex. Alex loved his snake plant. He loved its tall, upright leaves and the sense of calm it brought to his living room. But one day he noticed something off. The leaves weren't standing tall anymore. They were bending, twisting in ways they shouldn't. He leaned in close and saw them, tiny specks moving on the leaves. The plant was under attack. Alex could have panicked, could have thrown out his beloved plant, but he didn't. Instead, he rolled up his sleeves and launched a counterattack. He made a homemade pest spray using ingredients he had in his kitchen. A little dish soap, some water and voila, a natural pesticide was born. He began to spray his plant every day, ensuring he covered every inch of it. It was a battle of patience and persistence. The pests were stubborn, but so was Alex. And in time, the pests began to disappear. The leaves started to regain their shape. Alex's plant was back in fighting shape, all thanks to his tenacity and a little bit of dish soap. So, what's the moral of the story? Snake plants may be tough, but they aren't invincible. They need your help to fend off these pesky pests. Regular inspections, a keen eye for changes, and a homemade pest spray could be all it takes to keep your plant healthy and happy. Keep an eye out for these tiny troublemakers if you want your snake plant to thrive. And remember, like Alex, never back down from a fight. Your plant is counting on you. Ever noticed ugly brown spots or tips on your snake plant's leaves? Well, let me tell you, they are not a designer feature. Brown spots can be a sign that your snake plant is in distress. It's like your plant waving a little flag shouting, Hey, I need some help over here. There are several culprits that could be responsible for these unsightly blemishes. The first suspect on our list is physical damage. Yes, even plants can get a bruise or two. If a leaf gets damaged, it might react by developing these brown spots or tips. Next, we have extreme temperatures. Snake plants are like Goldilocks. They don't like it too hot or too cold. They need just the right temperature. So if your plant is next to a drafty window or directly under the scorching sun, it might be showing its discomfort through those brown spots. 
And lastly, we have nutrient issues. Sometimes your plant might be craving more than just water. It needs a balanced diet of nutrients to stay in top shape. If it's not getting what it needs, it might start developing brown spots. Now let's take a page from the book of a plant owner named Maria. Maria noticed brown spots on her snake plant and was quite distressed. She loved her plant and wanted to do everything she could to help it. First, she pruned the damaged leaves giving her plant a little botanical makeover. Next, she moved her plant away from the window where it was getting too much direct sunlight. And finally, she started feeding her plant a balanced diet of nutrients. And guess what? In a few short weeks Maria's snake plant was back to its green vibrant self, no brown spots in sight. So remember, if you notice brown spots on your snake plant, don't panic. Just like Maria, you can take steps to help your plant recover. Keep your snake plant spot-free by ensuring it has the right conditions and nutrients. Now let's talk about the riddle of the misshapen leaves. Are your snake plant's leaves looking a bit misshapen like a Picasso painting? Welcome to the world of deformed leaves where our once sleek straight snake plant leaves have now taken on a rather avant-garde appearance. But what could possibly cause our plant to embrace abstract art? Let's dive in. The most likely culprits behind this leafy transformation are pest infestations and fungal diseases. Tiny invaders like thrips or mites can cause your plant's leaves to twist and turn in unexpected ways. They're like the unruly guests who show up to your party uninvited and cause a ruckus. Regular inspection for signs of these little party crashers and a gentle application of natural homemade pest sprays or horticultural oil can help restore order to your snake plant's leafy party. Then we have fungal diseases, the invisible enemies. They sneak in and wreak havoc, often leaving the leaves misshapen and discolored. But fear not for there's a hero in our story and his name is John. John, a fellow snake plant enthusiast, noticed that his beloved plant was starting to look a little strange. The leaves were bending in odd directions and had a suspicious discoloration. Upon closer inspection he discovered a fungal disease had taken hold. Undeterred John took action. He removed the affected parts and applied an organic fungicide. Patiently, he watched and waited. Sure enough, with time and care, his snake plant started to regain its usual shape, its leaves once again growing straight and tall. So if your snake plant leaves are looking more Picasso than Monet, remember John's story. Regular inspection, pest control, and the timely use of fungicides can help your plant return to its natural, elegant form. With good care and attention, you can keep your snake plant looking more like a Monet than a Picasso. Thanks for watching.